I'm gonna start conditioning her to the outside world so that she is desensitized to all the randomness that happens in the real world so she doesn't freak out because these parrots can tend to have phobias if they, you know, are unaware of a certain situation and it scares them um, and I don't want that. So I've got to condition her to be okay with the randomness of the world. And so Nobu High Squad begins what I like to call bird school. Can't wait for you to join us. All right guys, so our first lesson in bird school is to get used to this bag, this carrying bag, because I was raising Malaya. At this stage, she was already traveling around. Um, when we went to meetings or we had work, we brought her around so she could observe the world outside. And that is how she became so tame and okay enough to be in the world and not freak out and just kind of stay with me um free flight so i'm gonna get her used to this bag first um and as you can see she's eager she's full of energy she's like totally ready to play and leave the nest and explore the world yes mm -hmm. she loves these neck scratches look at her look at her leaning into that neck scratch mm -hmm. She loves this. Um, and she's just so curious at this stage to kind of go out and explore the world. So this is the perfect time to start bird school. And this is her third day here at home. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to lift this bag and get her used to, I guess, the motion of like being picked up in the bag. It's not exactly natural because, well, these birds live in hollows of caves, right? Like that's where the nests are. But I know she will appreciate this enrichment right now. This bird school. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take her near the window. But be, I'm gonna be very careful because at this stage she can completely freak out. But look at how attentive she is, see? She's looking out at the world below. Isn't that amazing? Hmm? Cool, right? Go ahead. Don't worry. You can peek. Look at her. She's peeking over the edge. Don't worry. I am right here. I'll give you a neck scratch. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. See? Isn't it amazing? See? She's looking out. But she's kind of wary still. She's cautious. I'm right here. Don't worry. See? See her going slowly towards the edge. Looking out into the world. That's Mandaluyong. Mm-hmm. She's looking down. See that? I don't think she's ever had a glimpse of this before. I'm right here. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. It's okay. See, she's uneasy, but she also is curious. She wants to look. Periodically, she'll stretch out her wings and her leg. See that? One day soon, she'll start to attempt to fly. Oh, I can't wait for her first day of flight. Look out there. Look out there. See that? <laughs> Amazing, right? I know. Such a beautiful world out there. You're in the Philippines. Yeah. Look at her. See, there's so much intelligence there. You can just see it behind those big beady eyes. See, she's cleaning herself now. She's slowly starting to get at ease here at, uh, at the window. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Lifting you up now. Let's take a walk around the home. Yeah, take a look, see? There's my fish tank. Don't worry, don't mind the camera. See those fish? Those are fish. Look at her, she's like, what? What is that? Fish, you see that? They're pretty, right? Isn't the world amazing? You were born into this world. Yes. See, I'm moving away and she's kind of like trying to move closer to the fish. Isn't that cool? Don't you like the fish? Now, I feel like if I just put her on a chair to watch the fish, she would really watch them. Crazy, right? Trippy. Mm-hmm. Yes, bird, learn, learn, learn. <laughs> I want you to be a genius bird. I want you to have conversations. I want you to sing. I want you to do tricks. Make daddy money. Just kidding. Of course, that's not why I got a parrot, right? She can't believe these fish right now. <laughs> Aren't the fish amazing? Crazy, right? They're swimming in water. She can't believe it. <laughs> Moving along, here's my kitchen. Don't mind the camera. I'm here, I'm right here, yep. Look at the kitchen. 
That's a microwave. See the microwave? See that? That's snacks. Look at that fruit. One day maybe you'll be able to eat that fruit. It's called rambutan. Look at her. She's going towards it. Yes, it's a delicious fruit. One day you will you'll get to taste it maybe. Mm -hmm. Now here's my wine cabinet. You see? Something you'll never have. Um, out here is the balcony. Yep. And garden. Mm-hmm. See all those plants? Beautiful plants. Yes. Yes. Isn't it amazing? All right. Moving on. Let's go. See, see, see. And look. Here's the computer. And guess who's on the screen? Look at you. You're just so adorable. Yes, that's you. Mm-hmm. Three days ago. And you already look so different. I feel like you're maturing by the day. Yes, that's you. See? That's you. You're so cute. Yes. All right, now moving on. I am about to take you to a very special place, Parrot. I want you to learn the wonders of the Antiverse. Welcome to the kingdom of ants. <laughs> okay, so see? See that? Yes, that is the kingdom of the Platinum Dragons. Yes, they live up there in the leaves. Amazing, right? Isn't it incredible? Guys, she loves these ants. But that's not all. Moving on. This here is the floating island of a vista. See? That's a vista right there. Here is the Golden Empire. Amazing, amazing terrarium, but don't ever go there. Malaya made that mistake once. Actually, you're not allowed in this room by yourself. Here's the Asian bullet ants. Yes, Diacama living in there. And of course, the Selva de Fuego. Again, you are not to go in here, but I'm letting you look so you can learn. Look at her. She's so attentive. She's like, what is this? Isn't it amazing? This is a paludarium, part aquarium, part terrarium, full of fire ants. Yes. Guys, seriously, this bird is just soaking everything up. Yep. I know you're learning so fast. Hmm? You have so much to learn. Yeah, now I can tell just those few minutes of bird school have tired her out. <laughs> it's a lot to take in. All right, don't worry. Go to sleep. You can go to sleep. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know, I know. You're a growing bird. What are you doing? Guys, she is in such an eager playing mood. Like I've, she's so energetic now, more than she's ever been. You, yes. And those feathers are growing in too. <laughs> and she loves things that are made of wood. Like when she's older, she'll get wooden toys, um, which feel good for their beaks when they like pick at them. She's already loving like anything made of wood. I'm gonna buy her some wooden toys very soon. Yeah, I didn't expect you to be so playful this early in your life. Look at her, and look at her, flap those wings, yes! <laughs> Develop those wing muscles and leg muscles. Go, 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 yeah. Aw, don't worry, one day you will fly. She looks like a chicken. <laughs> Underneath those wings. You're so funny, sorry, I don't mean to laugh at you. Look at her though, wow. Yes, flap those wings. Strengthen those wing muscles. I can't wait to see her full plumage. Mm-hmm. Yes, what? <laughs> oh, she's charging me now. Okay, how about I just scratch her neck? Hmm? She loves this. Look at her. Oh, what? <laughs> so energetic. I gotta wipe your poopy butt for a sec. Come here. It's so poopy from just today. Man. There we go. Much cleaner. Sorry, I know that felt odd. I wonder if she has like height instinct. Like these birds naturally live in nests high in the trees. I wonder if she knows not to like jump off the edge. I wonder. Tell me the workings of your parrot ways and instincts. I want to know. She seems really strong and alert and like eager to learn. I'm the master. While she was busy chewing this piece of wood, I was able to wipe a little bit of earwax that she was having. 
distracted her. So now it's all clean. I never went in, just the outside is building up. Mineral oil works wonders for earwax. I should know, I have lots. It's so satisfying chewing the wood. I know, I know. Someone just ate and is so happy. Listen to her cooing. Isn't she cute? Yes. Now I'm making sure, because she loves neck scratches. Um, most great African greys do. But one thing I saw from a YouTube video was that when you scratch their neck, you should pet their back too because most parrots don't like when you touch their back. But if they learn to associate neck scratching with back scratching or back petting, um, then they learn to like it. They learn, hey, every time I get a pet in the back, I get a neck scratch. And then stop at the same time. See? I would like her to be okay with some touching. Like when she's an adult, I don't think I'll allow people to just pet her like lavishly. Parrots like cockatoos love that kind of interaction, but African greys not so much. Like Malaya as well. She, she was a sort of hands-off bird. I mean, she would be on my shoulder, yes, but she hated if you tried touching her back or anything like that. Right? What are you saying now? Hmm? Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Will you never ever leave beside me? Cause I want you and I need you. See, she's singing. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Will you never ever leave beside me? Cause I want you and I need you. <laughs> Listen to her, she's so vocal. She's telling me stuff. What? Oh, really? What a bird wants. What a bird needs, whatever keeps you happy, sets you free. I'm thanking you for knowing exactly what a bird wants, a bird needs, whatever keeps me in your arms. And I'm thanking you for giving it to me, yeah. What a bird wants, yes. Look at her, yes. Mm-hmm, so cute, man. Whatever keeps me in your arms is what I need, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, it's what I need, oh, it's what I want, what I need, what I want. Said you, you know, baby, you know, baby, oh, baby, I thank you, cause you know, yeah, it's what I want, yes. You don't want Christina Aguilera? What do you want? You want Cardi B? This is red bottoms, this is bloody shoes. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I never want to hear say I want it that way. Yes. <laughs> She's really singing. I, I just feel it. Every time I sing, she just wants to join in with me. She stretches out her neck and just like lets her voice rip. Yeah. I can't wait for you to really start singing. Mm-hmm. You're a good girl. OMG, my boy squad. Good morning. There's at the LC over there. And this is my shirt from yesterday. Ever since getting the parrot, I've been behind on my chores cleaning up. Listen, OMG, probably one of the most major things in bird school. The parrot right now is doing it. Very important lesson. She's starting to do it. Ah! Sorry, I think I scared her. Oh boy squad, look at what she's learned. 